Uh, my name is Pemjit Amon Chai. I came from Ubon Lachitani, the North East of Thailand. I am the BSLT lab manager, area safety officer, and micro uh, biologist at Muru. So tell me about what kind of materials you handle in a BSL3 lab. The material that I handle is Bacteria pseudomonii. This organism has been classified in the uh, bio weapon organism that uh, classified by the CDC USA. This is the dangerous bacteria. It normally is can found in the uh, rice paddy field, can found in the soil and in the water. So um, Thailand, especially in the northeast of Thailand, is endemic area of this disease. This organism uh, causes the milioidosis disease. This disease is not unknown, just underreported. We need to keep uh, like the promote and give knowledge to physician and microbiologist to know with this organism. Uh, normally, as I told you that, uh, this disease do not endemic just only Thailand, Australia, but also around the world. The China also have the case of myeloidosis. Malaysia, Laos also because they is the neighbor of Thailand, Cambodia, Brazil, Bangladesh. All oh, the symptom of myeloidosis is similar to other disease like the TB, like the uh, malaria, like the leptospirosis or scab typhus. So. It's difficult to diagnose it. And also, the main other it need the specific treatment, which different from other bacterial infection. Main other need uh, the prolonged treatment for complete the treatment around 20 weeks. If you not complete the treatment, it means that you can get relapse or reinfection again in Thailand. Especially in Northeast of Thailand, we have the mortality rate of people 40%. But for other countries, I think it's less than that, but it's still high. Uh, and I need them to awareness of this disease. What, what are the challenges, the difficulties in your work? The challenge of my work is how to improve our lapidated to help for this diagnosis and how to reduce the time of diagnosis. In the past, we have the standard immunofluorescent antibody assay to detect the uh, antigen of B. pseudomonii from the clinical sample that is take around two hours. But right now, we just take 15 minutes to get the result. What are the benefits for you working at Moru? What do you like about it? Oh, I like everything. Uh, especially, I learned a lot how to do the research here, how to work with the team. In Molu, we have many research groups, such as the Cup Typhus group, uh, Rickettsia group, and also the Malaria group, Molecular Cell Bio Immunology. We had a lot of groups that we can share opinion and share the work together. If we would like to co-work with each other, they are always happy. So to join us. <laughs>